Greetings and salutations, relaxed gamer nation, and welcome back to Space Engineer Solo Survival with me, um, relaxed gamer. Hello, how are you? I am fantastic. I'm recording these back to back because I work this weekend, so it's going to make it a little more difficult for me to actually or record on the weekend but I can probably render it on the weekend or edit it or whatever something like that uh, but today let's turn my lights on um, uh, we're going to do a quick look over of the base just to get us all reacquainted to it so right here we have our mining bay I changed all the floors to all the um, solid catwalks I don't know what they're called I think they're called just catwalks right steel catwalks to the battered armor and the graded cat ca catwalks Wow to uh, the lit armor the um, I have yet to actually label those buttons, but I, I know what they are right now. Uh, so we decentralized the oxygen system. So this bay, once I get down to it. So many airlocks. <laughs> so this bay uh, is centrally pressured by this single oxygen tank right here. We did the same thing over here, but I did a few other things over there. So we can uh, close the mining bay doors and we can pressurize the air vents. Oh, I can't get out now unless I go this way. <laughs> Oops. So now this is all pressurized or will be. It's a very large space, so these oxygen vents are slow to pressurize. Which I could probably do something about it, but I'm not sure if I really want to. Oh. Well, I didn't notice that yet. This is not connected. Oops. That might be why it was going slow. Light that up. Okay. So now that that piping is fixed, pipe fixed, pipe fixed, and oxygen tank here, perfect. It should pressurize quicker now. One would think for large oxygen pipes. Can I get out this way? Uh, no. This is something that I'm probably going to have to um, play around with. I might actually reroute this to pointing this way so I can get out that way or even that way. Actually, this way is probably preferable. So we'll just do uh, that. And that. Now all the air in there will be lost temporarily, but that's fine. We have an abundance of air right now anyway. So if I lose a little bit of air, I'm not too concerned. I always get distracted here, don't I? Um, passage, corner. Is there one with a window? I don't think so. No, there's a lighted corner, but nothing with a window. Okay. So, let us see what we can do here. That should do. 
That'll seal that up. And we don't have to worry about getting stuck behind the solar panel or the oxygen farm every time now. Excellent. Nice temporary fix. So over here I did a similar thing to over there. Um, I also put an exterior entrance here so it's I don't have to go all the way over there, go in there, go through like five million doors. Just have to go through this one airlock door. Which enters into a little hallway with windows on the side. And an open area here. It still fits in, it doesn't take up too much space. Perfect. So right here I got two air vents down. And I got the oxygen tank in the middle here. Now you're probably wondering, why do you have an oxygen tank under a thruster? Or you're probably not wondering, and I'm just made you wonder now. <laughs> well, I wanted to go with uh, um, aesthetics. <laughs> so that I have these two, two vents in here and the oxygen tank there. Otherwise, I would have put the oxygen tank over here or over there and put a vent in the middle or maybe on both sides here likely only the middle and then it would just look weird and I'd have to put another oxygen tank there and then that would be overkill and yeah anyway <laughs> I digress <laughs> um, this is uh, labeled since previously for a long time I got rid of the vent up there because it was no longer needed I only used it to fill the oxygen tank for those vents okay Another quick little tour here. Med Bay, I started naming all these vents. Well, I named all the vents currently in operation. So now I know which vent is where. Just top up my gases and maybe my energy while I'm here. So, oxygen. This is like the observation deck thing. Five million airlock doors later. Why are these lights not on? Hm. I don't know. I probably turned them off for some weird reason. So this is the obser this is hall lounge, the hall lounge I guess I could call it because it's got a seat, it's got some some terrariums and stuff, and I even put a little Ben Cola and Cosmic Coffee Bar over here. It's even got a bathroom right there. And some basic storage. So now that the tour is complete, what are we going to do is well, I'm just going to put a projector on a stick. <laughs> Very simple. Um, it doesn't take a lot of uh, thought process. And it'll allow me to start building my mining ships. I intend to eventually have like a, a sandwich press type, type um, projector assembly, but I'm still working it around in my mind like I know how to do it I'm just kind of thinking about aesthetics here because I would probably want to extend that out a fair distance more oh yeah I have stuff I could deliver don't I should probably look into that add oh, I can't add a small roller rotor head by Oh. Okay, rotor. This one. Small head. Okay, that'll get it done. Rotor. Rotor. Uh, lock. So now I don't have to worry about that moving all over the place. One. Ooh. What armor do I have on there? 
think I have the wood armor. Just want the plane. Just the plane. Oh, no. Whoa, hello. Control in shift and yeah, it does things. And then we want to put a projector on here, just a small projector. Now, everybody is confused on how to set up the projectors, including myself. Um, projector. But from what I n understand is that the the plus is the top of the projector, right? And the negative is the front of the projector. I believe that's how it's supposed to work. I'm not 100% certain on that, but uh, please tell me in the comments if I am horribly incorrect or if you are just as confused as everybody else. We're just gonna fancify it. <laughs> then boom, put another one up there. Now all I, need, all I need to do is get a blueprint of the of my mining ship. Do I even have one? That's an egg beater. Here we are. This is a space mining thing. Okay. Okay. Before I start projecting it and having Bob be like, hey, look, something new for me to build, I am going to turn off uh, help others and build new. Build new will prevent it from actually building things off grid. until I do the first block and then it should do everything else from there. So let's go into the projector here quickly. Pro, that's, oh. Um, okay. I think this is the miner. No, these are the miner. This is, okay, projector. Um, building projector. Blueprints. Miner. Space mining thing. Mark one. Does this have... Did I take a new blueprint or no? I don't know. Okay, now I have to play around with uh, with getting it uh, sorted. How am I gonna do that? I'll just put a seat down. Just a little control seat right there. Temporary control seat somewhere. Dang it. So I can actually look at it. Projector, building projector. Let's bring the vertical offset up a bit. Forward. Okay. 
do that and push it forward, what, four blocks? Oops. Projector. Back one block. Okay. I went too far forward. There we go. Lit up like a Christmas tree. Now we'll do this. Build new. Bam. Here we go. That will probably damage this. Excellent. Now, is this the one with the projector built into it? I thought I changed the blueprint to have the projector in here. Yeah, there's a projector. So we'll let that build and I will bring you back in a moment. There we go, our first little mining ship is complete. All I have to do is remove it from this. The projector should kick in and then pull it out of the system. It has no hydrogen yet, so it's going to need to charge up. So it's gonna be slow boating to the uh, miner bay. Because it's only working on ions right now, which are really not that powerful. I have ions in all directions, but yeah. Is this open? Did I leave it open? No, I didn't. Of course it didn't. Why would I leave it open? That would be dumb. <laughs> it's not like I was planning on going in there anytime soon. <laughs> uh, dumb, dumb. Okay, so we have air pressure, so do this. Suck up all the air. Open doors. And bring this into its new home. Charge up its hydrogen. Because although it doesn't really need the hydrogen <clears throat> to get around, it makes it a heck of a lot easier when it does have hydrogen. Hydrogen should be on stockpile automatically. Yes. And there we go. The first of our first drone of our fleet. Now I'll do the same with the two others. And um, I guess we'll bring you back in a bit. This is almost finished building. 
which is great. Uh, it's almost like it timed it properly, or close to. Come on, get her done. Okay, and another one's done. I'll park it up, and then I'll bring you back at the bay when the last one is finished for the time being. And I'll turn this projector off for later. Because these things are going to have to go a long way to find platinum, likely though I have to actually find platinum first. Oh, uranium. That's cool. Okay, I'll bring you back when the last one's done. See ya. What a lovely night sky we have here. Looking out of the mining bay doors. So here is our mining ship fleet. Um, when are we going to deploy it? I have no idea yet. <laughs> I'm also considering putting some more on the roof. Eventually, possibly. But for now, we have our four mining ships. We will deploy them eventually here. I had an issue getting our fourth mining ship built because I don't have platinum. The reason why I don't have platinum is because the shield components ate all my platinum. So I ate the shield. <laughs> I ate the shield uh, uh, generator. Um, we haven't seen any issues, any enemies, any baddies, anything of the like. We don't even have guns up here which I should probably change in the future. Uh, probably after we get the shield generator up and running, maybe? Oh, but I had to tear that down in order to get shield components to get the mining, final mining ship built. And uh, that's about that. I also put in a second assembler to help disassemble all the shield components. So everything is sorted now. I think we have a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff too, like ores, which, you know what, I need to screen down here. Um, okay, there you are. I need a screen down here to tell me how much ore and other materials I have. line this wall here that will sort it out because this is supposed to just be the ingots ores that's our my main screen this is our auto crafting stuff no it's still doing the thing annoying. The, these, this freaking LCG bug is bugging me. Uh, 
really annoying. Maybe there's an updated script? Because it's been a while. Let's see what we got here. These will likely be getting moved eventually anyway. This is 2.8.2, .2. manage, no it's the same script. Except now I have to do all my things again. Craft on, uncraft on, balancing or balancing, and your crafting off refinery exists. Yes. And I get like solar constantly. That's like totally awesome. Um, I'm still contemplating what I'm going to do about all of these. Um, right now, I think we'll just fill it in and see where it goes from there. Putting these platform this these down for the heck of it right now. I started on the expanding of that. Um, not really by much. <laughs> Just a door in the middle of nowhere right now. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Um, maybe in between episodes, I'll actually go out and find some minerals that I can mine here. But that is going to take more time than I have because, as we all know, platinum is impossible to find in many cases. Silicon, cobalt, magnesium, iron, uranium. There's got to be a platinum rock out here. Well, of course, there's going to be a platinum rock out here, but it depends on how far away it is. It might be that rock. It might not. <laughs> but it's going to take a lot of time for me to discover that. Ooh. Okay, well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe uh, if you have not subscribed already. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Ciao.